y'all, I am Christina Louise and I'm back with another TV Stuff Review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Arctic Air Ultra. I'm just going to do a quick inversion session while this is going and then we'll check that temperature and see how it went. Okay, so I'm here in the bathroom. I did just get out of the shower. I tried using the Arctic Air I was a little nervous. I was going to kick it. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Arctic Air Ultra. So it says cool your space fast and easy. It's a, an evaporative air cooler. Enjoy cool, clean air everywhere. Personal space cooler, adjustable three speeds, quiet operation, lightweight and portable. It is pretty light and obviously it's small enough that it's clearly portable. It does say it cools, humidifies and purifies. I like the purifying. Eco-friendly, two times cooling power. On the side, it kind of gives you a little diagram of how it works there. We are going to be adding water to it. And then it gives you just a few different areas that you can use it outside, in the bathroom, while you're working out, whatever the case may be. It's clearly portable and easy to take wherever you need it. So let's open it up. Things are always so hard for me. Of course, there's stickers on it. Stop. Do not return to store. We can help. If your product is not working or if you have qu any questions, it gives you the website, a number to call, and an email address. It says quick start. Plug in your Arctic Air Ultra. Fill tank with water. Point vents towards you. Turn on the unit and enjoy. For best results, turn this card over. For best results, pre-soak the filter. Place your filter under running cold or wet water. For even more cooling, place a wet filter in the freezer until frozen. Fill with pitcher. Place on flat surface and, tank, and fill tank from a water pitcher. Point towards you and adjust the vents to direct airflow. And then filter cleaning. It says, we recommend regular cleaning of your filter. See product guide or care and cleaning label on filter for instructions. It looks like you're putting it in the dishwasher, so that would be cool. So you have the back there with those best results and then that front little warning option as well. So I like that, that was nice. And it was right on top of the box as soon as I opened it. So right there, it tells me where to go if I have questions, comments, concerns, need any help, and exactly how to get started. That's fantastic, huge fan. All right, the product guide, save these instructions. Okay, so it's about four or five pages. Read entire manual before use. Congratulations, thank you for choosing Arctic Air Ultra, the number one best-selling personal space cooler. Again, it gives you the website and the phone number. Kind of gives you a little diagram that you can look at just to see the cooler itself to know what everything is on the unit. So that's nice. So you have the water tank door, the mode indicator lights, power fan speed button, the power port, the light button, because it does have a light in there. Obviously to be able to move the vents, you have the little tabs on there, a filter and a power adapter. Set up, it gives you the instructions, set up the Arctic Air Ultra, place it on a flat surface, attach the power cord, 
um, and plug it into the wall, obviously. <laughs> Use the filter drawer tab to pull out the filter and drawer and remove the filter. It does talk about pre-soaking it again for best results. Um, the setup continued, goes into putting the water in there, and then it just goes straight into how to use it. Pretty simple, you push the button and adjust the vents to point towards you. And then it goes into cleaning as well. So it gives you maintenance as far as what you are going to do with those filters for cleaning. So that's great. Next page, again, just maintenance continued and some warnings. Use only clean water, use distilled water if you can. So like most humidifiers, air purifiers, um, for best results, again, those little quick tips there are on the back. So I like that. I like that it's just a few simple quick tips and it's right there, right in front of you. So you have no excuses. Okay, so this is our power cord. Pretty standard. Let me just take this. I want to see how long it is. So, okay, that's a decent length of cord. And it's pretty thick, like, I don't know if you can tell, but I mean, it's a pretty solid cord. So that's good, okay. Check this out. Okay, oh, whoa, that's super light. The box made it feel heavier even than it actually is. Okay. Super tiny and cute, how adorable is that? And then you have the controls there on the top. Again, those little quick tips are there on the side. I love that, I love that they are everywhere. They were as soon as I opened the box, they're in the directions, they're on the unit itself. That's fantastic. Pull off these little pieces of tape. And then you can see you got the little tabs right here on a couple of the vents. So make it makes it easier for you to just kind of grab that and move that, point them wherever you need them. Okay. So that's our water tray. This is our filter. So I just slid it right out. So maybe while it's here in the house, I'll probably just wet it. Then maybe if I take it out back or something to try it outside, maybe I'll try to remember to freeze this overnight. But I feel like that's a step that a lot of people aren't going to remember. Like, oh, hey, tomorrow I'm gonna wanna use my air to care. I'm gonna have to put this in the freezer. Nah. So I'll probably just try it with regular water, but okay. That was easy enough. So the top part kind of opens up. <laughs> that's where we're gonna pour our water in. Okay. I like it. I like that it's super tiny and cute. I like that it seems incredibly easy to use. I love the fact that they're putting those simple steps everywhere so it's like foolproof. Even if you totally just throw the manual away once you open the box, it stared at your face <laughs> as soon as you opened it. That notice was on the top, so that's cool. So I'm going to plug this in, fill it up with water. It seems a little flimsy, like does it even stay up? No. Oh, no. Up, oh, nope. Point them up. Nope, they fall down. So that's an issue. I don't know if you can tell that on the video, but like I try to point the vent anywhere but down and it kind of just closes. So we'll see if that changes once there's air moving through there because right now I'm not able to point it at me. So we will see, but I'm going to go. I'm going to plug it in. I'm going to fill it up with water. I'm actually going to do a little bit of yoga here. So I'll probably just sit it next to me. Um, and just kind of have it going as I practice. I'll see, definitely be able to see if it's loud and how much noise it makes. Um, and we'll just kind of see if it keeps the room clean once I start my flow and really get into the practice. Um, I was also thinking about, I saw in the box, they had it in the bathroom when she was getting ready. That's fantastic. My bathroom gets so hot and muggy and gross when I'm in there getting ready after I shower. So I'll definitely put it in there as well. And then, like I said, maybe we'll have dinner or lunch or something out on the back patio and we'll take it out there to see if it keeps us cool because it's over 100 degrees here in Arizona. So this thing is a must have. And the fact that it's super tiny and cute and I can take it everywhere, I love it. So like I said, I'm going to go plug it in, try it out. Stay tuned. All right, so I'm gonna get ready to do a quick little inversion session. I am going to be using the Arctic Air. So I just wanted to show you what my house is currently reading. 
This is what it's been at all night long. Just woke up, gonna do my morning routine, and I'm going to use this soap. I'm just gonna turn it on. We'll keep it on high. No need for a light. And there we go, let's get started. So it is currently set to high. It's not too loud, but it's not exactly the quietest. It is a nice breeze that is coming out of the vents. Not too strong, but definitely can feel that. Then if we just turn it down to medium, it's noticeably quieter and the wind coming out of the unit itself is noticeably different as well. It's a little bit cooler, or it's not as cool, I'm sorry. It's not as cool and it's not as hard as it was blowing before, obviously. Then if we just take it down to the lowest setting, it is pretty quiet, probably quieter than your bathroom vent that you have there in your bathroom, that little overhead vent. You just listen to that. So it's not quite too loud, it's not bothersome. I could definitely do this all night long or during a meditation session or something like that. But now we're gonna wait for it to get a little bit darker and maybe I will actually use this tonight during my meditation session. I'll just keep it on low to see if that sound is bothersome and then we will also play around with the lighting because as you see there, it does have an LED light built in with a couple different settings. So we will also try that out later. So now that it's dark, I'm actually just going to turn off the light and we're going to test out the light on the unit itself. So it does have to be on. The fan does need to be on for the light to come on. That's the brightest setting. Then you have that or off. Just going to wet the filter a little bit before I start my yoga session. This is just a regular tap water. It's not hot, it's not cold. It's probably about room temp, so just going to make sure that I get this all wet and then we'll go ahead, we'll pop it in the unit itself and we'll do a little bit of yoga. So I have my Arctic Air on right now. It is on the high setting. As you see, you are a little bit distance away. So you can kind of judge on the sound and how it's going to be. For me, it's not bothersome, but it definitely is noticeable. But we'll see as time goes on if it gets a little irritating. So. I'm just gonna do a quick inversion session while this is going and then we'll check that temperature and see how it went. I did turn off my air and I also turned off my fans. So we will see what that says here in about 10 minutes or so after doing a quick little session. So I have the Ultra Air currently running on high. It's been a few minutes. It has tap water in it, just probably room temperature, lukewarm water here out of the faucet. Just going to let it run for a little while longer and see if these numbers here on this readout change at all. So after about 20 minutes, there is a little bit of a difference on the temperature readout there on that Thermo Pro. So now I'm gonna go, I'm actually going to run the filter under ice cold water and then I'm going to put it in here and do the same thing. Let it run for a while and see how much difference we get here on this temperature readout. So I just ran that filter under some ice cold water. I let the faucet run for a few minutes, checked it. It was super cold to the touch. So that is what is in there now. And I also filled this top part with bottled water out of the refrigerator. So now you can take a look at that temperature readout right there. And again, I'm just going to turn the unit on high. So that first setting right there. I am in Arizona, so it is a little warm here in the house. I tried to turn the air down for the time being so it wouldn't change this temperature readout too much. So hopefully this is pretty accurate. So I'm going to keep that on high. Again, just going to let it run for about 15-20 minutes and see how big of a difference we see there on that temperature readout with the ice cold water there on the filter. Okay, so the Arctic Air has now been running for about 15-20 minutes. And as you can see, there is a noticeable difference here on the temperature readout. If I can get that glare, there we go. 
off of there. And as you see, there's also little water droplets coming out of those vents. Not quite sure if that's supposed to happen. Luckily, I have it on something so it doesn't totally matter if it gets on anything. And again, this is with the ice cold water being run over that filter for a few minutes, wetting it before I put it here in the unit. And as you can see, it did have a little bit of a difference on that readout right there. Now we're gonna go and I'm going to freeze that filter and do the same thing once again and see what the temperature reads then. Okay, so this is the current temperature here in my house. I just put the frozen filter and turned it on high. We will wait maybe 15, 20 minutes and then come back and see what this temperature reads. But this is currently what everything is at here in my house. I'm just going to point this back up here. Maybe. There we go. Okay. Well, it's pointed up a little bit, but that's okay. It is here on the floor, so that's just fine. So again, it's on high with a frozen filter. We're going to wait maybe 15, 20 minutes. Come back and see what difference is here on this temperature readout. As you can see, it is right in front of it, so keep that in mind. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes now since I put that frozen filter in there with the cold water. And as you can see, there was a little bit of a change there on that temperature readout, but not very much. So now the last thing we're gonna do is we're going to put some ice cubes in there and see if that makes any difference. It does say that that's supposed to create somewhat of a mist coming out of here. I'm curious to see how that works because as you can see, these don't always stay up. So that is what we will try next. Stay tuned and we will see what those temperature reads. So it's been about five to seven minutes now since I put the ice cubes in there with the semi-frozen filter and the ice cold water. There is still no water or mist of any kind coming out of the vent, so that's a fail. So now I'm just gonna let it run for about 10, 15 minutes longer, see if there's any change in the temperature with those ice cubes being in there. It's been pretty close to about 15 minutes now, and as you can see, there's a little bit of difference, but really not much here with the ice cubes. 30 minutes in, there's no mist, and there's still not much difference here on the temperature readout. This is with the filter still being pretty frozen, the water being ice cold from a water bottle out of the refrigerator, and it has ice cubes. Okay, so I'm here in the bathroom. I did just get out of the shower. I tried using the Arctic Air while I was getting ready and it actually blew my breaker. When I was trying to dry my hair between having the blow dryer on as well as the unit itself, I guess it was just too much. Same thing happens when I use a little heater. So unfortunately I was unable to test that out. And the maybe 30 seconds that it was running before everything blew, I didn't really like it. Um, I wasn't a fan of having that cold air blowing on me fresh out of the shower. A lot of the times I still turn on my little heater, even here in Arizona in the summertime. So I don't think I would have liked it while getting ready. And so far I haven't seen much difference between the temperature or the humidity through the test. So I don't think it would have made much difference in here anyway. All right, y'all, so I have tried the Arctic Air inside and outside. I did attempt it in my bathroom. I've used it while doing yoga. I used it during meditation. I used lukewarm tap water, just straight out of the tap, turned it on and used that water. I also let the faucet run for a few minutes, so it was ice cold, and I used that water. I did also fill the top portion with cold bottled water out of the refrigerator. We also then froze the filter inside here and even added ice cubes. I didn't notice much difference between all the different tests, so I would give the Arctic Air three out of five stars. I do like the small compact design and I loved the packaging and the directions and how easy everything was when I first got it. 
I do not like the fact that I didn't see much difference through the different tests inside outside regardless of the water temperature what I did to the filter I never felt anything misting out these as you can see struggle to stay up you have to get it just right in order for them to stay so that's a little bit of a nuisance I don't like the sound when reading or journaling, doing my yoga or doing meditation, it was just bothersome, even on the lowest setting. And it's a little unfortunate that you still have to plug it in because it does limit where you can take it and what you can do with it. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and click the little bell in the corner. That way you get notified each time we post a new video so you can stay up to date on all TV stuff reviews. Until then, Bye, y'all.